Yo, what is good, YouTube? Welcome back to another JC2K video. In today's video, we're doing gameplay with the brand new Ruby Tyrese Maxi. Tyrese Maxi obviously is a great player in real life. He's had a couple of pretty good budget point cards over the past couple of years. I think in 2K22, he had a really good budget diamond. And I think this card's going to be okay. I mean, he's going to be a good Ruby point card, super solid offensively, able to shoot the ball and slash defensively. He's not going to do much, but as long as the animations are good, he's going to be a fun offensive PG. Before we hop into the video, if you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Help me push towards the 15,000 subscriber mark on the channel i upload every single day and i would really appreciate it if y'all do subscribe without further ado let's hop right into it let's take a look at tyrese so tyrese maxi is six foot two at the shooting guard position 88 offense with a 79 defense offensively he's going to be great 92 driving layup 90 close shot 81 midi 86 three ball 70 driving duck 85 ball handle sorry 85 free throw 86 ball handle so he's got all the key stats he can dunk he can shoot he's going to hit free throws he's got eye on a ball handle the timing burst and he's fast 89 speed to on excel 84 lateral quickness then you look at the badgers and he's got some good key ones only five golds, but corner specialist handles for days, hyperdrive, killer combos, and speed booster. Specifically handles for days and speed booster. Being on gold is really important to me. A lot of guards don't have speed booster. He's got it on gold with gold handles for days. It's going to help him out a lot as a playmaker. 15 silvers, 11 bronze badges include badges like fast twitch, slithery catch and shoot, pick dodger, pogo stick, float game scooper, two step whistle, open looks, spot finder and blow by, bronze acrobat, blinders, claymore, guard up, slippery off ball, bunny and spin cycle as well. He looks solid, not going to do much defensively, but he's got good playmaking and shooting badges and will be able to dunk the ball open as well and that at least for me is more than enough out of this Tyrese Maxey for him to be a good offensive card assuming his release is good his release being good is is almost uh wow his his in between the legs is not very good though. I will say that drag backs drag, drag backs looks good but his between the legs is okay so his movement is really questionable so that's going to be Wow, and his release is weird, too. Okay, this card is a little weird, actually. I'm not going to lie. He's not looking quite as good as I was hoping he'd be because his between-the-leg size-up and his front size-up, both of his escape moves are just not very good for bursting. Uh, like, that between the legs, it takes forever, and then the I, his drag back is good, and I think he's got trade dribble style, and you can same side burst and stuff with him, but... You can't really burst the way that I want to with him, unfortunately. So it's going to be a lot of drag back into the trade dribble style to attack the Ram. And then his release is fast, but it's kind of weird. And I feel like if you get any sort of load up at all, it's going to be tough to green. So it's a little bit of a weird jumper as well. I got to say, not quite as excited about Tyrese Maxi's animations as I was hoping I would be. It's going to hurt him a little bit in terms of being a top budget PG, but I mean, we'll see what he can do. He's still fast. He can still dunk. He's still got great shooting stuff. Good speed booster handles for days. Um... I just think his animations are good enough to re for you to really be getting the type of burst animations that you probably want to be getting with this card. Uh, so for me, at least, I don't know. Might have to pass on this card as being a really good budget PG, but I had high hopes. We'll have to see how he does in game. Let's hop into a game. See what Tyrese Maxey can do. All right, let's see what Tyrese Maxey can do. Matched up against a team that's got Laurie Markin and Kyrie Irving. Uh, looks like that's Kawhi, AD, and Carmelo. That's like a really solid squad. Attack in the Oh, it's JR Smith. That's who it is. Good attack by Tyrese Maxey. He did actually get a really nice burst animation there. Got downhill, beat the defender off the dribble. With gold speed booster, gold handles for days, when you can trigger that timing burst properly, you're going to get really good burst animations and get downhill very, very effectively with the card. My thing is, his and, and animations offensively just aren't where I wanted them to be in terms of specifically the between the legs animation and and um, the front escape animation, because those are really important animations without an elite dribble style. And while he has trade dribble style, which is honestly a very good dribble style, it's still not exactly what we're looking for uh, in terms of the playmaking. But again, he can get downhill with it. It's better than almost any dribble style in the game besides Kyrie and maybe MJ in terms of the burst that you get out of it. So him having trade dribble style is nice, and we're able to get downhill again with it, taking advantage to get to the rim for two easy buckets already. Now, as we know, defensively, he's not going to do much. You're going to have to hide him on defense. You're going to have to help him. You're going to have to rotate all that type of stuff but that is a-okay with me as long as we can keep on scoring and we're doing a good job so far stop and pop Tyrese Maxey that's a great shot just got to be able to hit it that's on me uh slightly early definitely noticed that attack downhill again Tyrese all the way oh my goodness he's showing me something right now same side burst that trade dribble style maybe the lack of elite six isn't going to be that big of an issue he can still kind of get to one on the offensive end of the court pretty well like calling him a, to a top tier elite point guard in the game or anything would be pretty blasphemous but overall i mean he could be a pretty good card that's a nice pick and pop catch and shoot jumper i will give credit where it is due nice shot by my opponent but six points already for tyrese maxi is about as good as i could ask for to start the game off and i get a freaking load up on his jumper so it's an early his jumper is going to be a little bit problematic uh because if, if you don't get the perfect animation good steal by paul george we're gonna go coast could have gone coast to coast but i decided to pass it instead um come on bro 
Kyrie can't get. Kyrie doesn't get bumped by that and beats big screen at all. He didn't get bumped for that by that one either. Are you kidding me? Thank you. Tyrese Maxey to the rim, lays it in again. He's doing a good job of getting past Kyrie for the most part, but um, I don't think this card's gonna play. Like he's not playing for the best team in the game or anything close to it. He's not even playing for the best no money spent teams probably, or even a really good no money spent team. But he's a fun salary cap card. There are a lot of Sixers fans, one of the most popular teams in the league. It's a fun card that some people are going to use and try out and have fun with in salary cap or in triple that online or a mode like clutch time like me or use offline for challenges or whatever the case may be. You want to use your favorite players, your cards. Tyrese Max is one of those guys and he's a solid card, man. Offensively, he is a bucket getter, has 11 points, hits that three as well. That's a big shot by Tyrese and he has played really, really solidly so far now defensively hasn't done a thing but he doesn't really need to um he's not gonna guard Kyrie Irving at all he's got like a what 84 lateral quickness that's like the only halfway decent defensive stat that he's got and he's not big either so expecting anything defensively out of him is just foolish to be completely honest but front fade free throw line jumper hits it anyway I didn't green it, it still goes down we'll take that Tyrese Maxey gonna try our best to just like get bumpy on Kyrie or something because I'm not staying in front of him normally so uh wow he just threw a really baited pass I'm not gonna lie watch the dump down watch the corner pass rotation good D rotate yep rotate yep oh that's it good D wall up yep get back oh my goodness the scramble drill defense has been on point this possession he actually got a wide open three though uh it was on point until the very end but then he still missed the three so it's fine front fade me Tyrese Maxey who nice front fade smooth animation hits that one as well he's got physicals take don't love the physicals take not the best take in the game I'd rather have slashing I'd rather have well I'd rather have sharp specifically is the one that I really want or play Sh slashing not as much but sharper play over physicals I would like to see holy crap Andre Kirilenko what an interceptor animation he just played a lane that he was not guarding at all so uh good pass could have taken another assist but I'm here to score with Tyrese Maxey not not pass the ball like come on stop and pop Tyrese fading from deep air ball okay might have gotten a little bit outside of myself there he doesn't have limitless range that might have been pushing it a little bit to shoot that shot but still got to say very very impressed so far by the performance of Tyrese Maxey he's been able to defend his butt off and um, play offense really really well too no he hasn't defended his butt off but he's played offense really really well great steal by KD there we're gonna go pick and pop again and we're just gonna make him dude you gotta you gotta play me one-on-one -on -one at some point right is he really just gonna hard yeah thank you I was gonna say uh good move dang it not able to create the separation I want back door get behind Kyrie haha <laughs> cheap bucket let's go he dunks a lot 70 driving dunk is nice and 18 points in this game for Tyrese Maxey I mean that's about as good as I could ask for he scored every point for our team he's absolutely cooking Kyrie and we know Kyrie's not a great defender but love to see that that's that help defense I'm talking about. Tyrese Maxey isn't guarding anybody. Gotta help him on the defensive end, but Embiid does just that. We get ourselves a stop. We're going to come out of here with a very comfortable win. Tyrese Maxey with a phenomenal performance. Let's hop back to the main menu. Let's review the card. This Tyrese Maxey card was getting buckets in that game. My opponent was not the best, and that definitely helped us to score a lot. But he's a fun offensive card to use. I mean, the movement is not quite where I wanted it to be, but the playmaking badges are. He's got a hitchy but but easy release. I mean, it is fast, which is nice. Front fade is really good. He's a capable slasher. Offensively, I like the card. He's a fun offensive card to use. He's terrible defensively. He's not a competitive level point guard at all, but he's a fun card. So if you're looking for a fun point guard option, if you're a Sixers fan, you want to use him offline and salary cap, whatever. He's a fun card to use. So hopefully y'all did enjoy the video. If you did, make sure you hit that like button, leave a comment and subscribe. I'll be back with more 2K content very, very soon. And I appreciate y'all. Peace.